family. Super excited today. I'm going to tell you why. We got a chicken coop. We're going to be getting some chickens and finally have an eggs again like we used to before a raccoon came in and ate all our other chickens. We're going to build a nice coop. But that's not, that's not it. The weather cannot decide if it wants to be spring or if it wants to go back to winter. I don't know what's going on with that, but that's not why I'm excited either. <laughs> Please pardon the mess in here. It's been lots of podcasts, lots of going live, doing Patreon Zoom meetings and... Oh, that light. It's been good though. It's been real good. And uh, you guys are just like, say what you're excited about already. I'm excited about a lot of stuff. Look at this microphone. That's something to be excited about. Look at that thing. Uh, I hardly slept at all last night, probably because internally I knew what was happening down here in the snake room subconsciously and it wouldn't let me sleep because I came down here this morning, which is still morning. Uh, what do we got here? I'm super excited right now. I'm gonna tell you the reason. I'm super excited right now because it's the first clutch of the season. Yes. First clutch of the season, just like I thought she was gonna lay any day, and there she is, but having laid any day, she's like, dude, get out of here, now. Sorry, sorry, I'm excited. It looks like they're all good eggs, too, from what I can tell. Mm. All right, all right, all right, all right, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I've been waiting, I've been waiting for a clutch of eggs for what feels like forever. And this is probably gonna be our slowest season yet. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this set up so we can let you guys watch the process of pulling the clutch. I'm gonna get the family down here. I am going to see if Hillary is willing to pull these eggs. She has not pulled a single snake off of a clutch of eggs ever. Hillary's not really a snake person. I don't know if you guys knew this. Hillary has grown up having nightmares about snakes and worms most of her life. Leave a comment down below if you knew that. Leave a comment down below if you are afraid of snakes. Cause you don't need to be, there's no reason. They're not that scary. Okay, okay, I'm gonna set it up. I just feel like I just woke up. You did just wake up. I know, but. <laughs> I ripped Hillary out of bed so she could give her, give her some slack. She was fresh out of bed, got the kids ready for virtual school, made breakfast, and uh, now she's gonna, you're not gonna be able to do it with her on your lap, I promise you that. Cause you can't be there, I'm okay? gonna be filming over her back with two cameras, two microphones. I don't know why I've got two microphones today, just for fun. I got a camera. Just kind of grab like her tail and kind of unwrap from the tail. Mm -hmm. and just kind of, you've seen, you've seen mm -hmm. Eli do it, mm -hmm. so. And then where am I gonna put her? I'll take her from you once you have her off the eggs. Okay. Looks like we got Who all this? good eggs, no slugs. This I is see. Cindy. Oh, Cindy. Top, 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 top. Okay, top. are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Go for it. Mm. Just be assertive. Did I touch an egg? Two hands. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> she wasn't very tightly wrapped, so I think you had it kind of easy, but mm -hmm. you did good. Eggs. <laughs> that's about all there is to it. That's not really. Eggy. I told everybody that you had nightmares about snakes and worms. Yeah. First thing. Yeah. So yeah. No, I mean, I feel so comfortable with the ball pythons that I'm not Eggy. really worried about them. Uh, you can take her now. I don't want her to be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not even gonna bite me. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna give her a little can rinse and then I'll uh, get her to a new enclosure. Can Eli pet an egg? Eli can pet an egg. Hey. Good job, Mama. Oh, oh, good job, Mama. Good job, Mama. <laughs> good job, Mama's all around. Look at that, dude. This is. We got. Those are nice. These are clearly six fertile eggs no slugs that's what happens yeah. when you put your snakes on cocoa blocks this had 100 percent to do with the cocoa blocks only for <laughs> <laughs> get your cocoa blocks johnson this <laughs> what's gonna be in the eggies babies babies niggies yeah oh boy your favorite I'm pretty Look excited. I'm pretty excited. Hold the babies. Pocket. Yeah, those aren't ready yet. The babies have to grow inside the egg, and then you can hold it. Wait, Daddy, you remember that okay. time we were downstairs, and then that little I snake didn't egg make it, egg. and it we died in now. the egg? Yep, I remember that. Okay. We cut that yeah, snake, we cut it open, and showed the little one that oh, didn't make it. it. Don't roll it. Yeah. That one you're talking about? Yeah, that video's got more views than any video on our channel. But how did make it again? It just, sometimes they don't make it, bud. Some of them, like, like they have 
a little bit of yellow. Yeah, a little bit. There's a, bit, a little tinge of yellow in there for sure. Mm -hmm. I get pinky. You know pinky. Oh, <laughs> Are you down to can you, you down to hold this camera while and film me while I get these eggs into the little incubator yeah. box? Yeah. Uh, Cindy was paired with Oedipus. That was Cindy. Oedipus is a coral glow pie ball right there. 100% head clown. Oh, you'll get the CT. Don't worry. So basically, I'm just going to do our standard triple B incubation technique, which is a little bit of perlite on the bottom of the tub, a little light diffuser, a little uh, cross stitch mesh on top. And the purpose of the cross stitch mesh is so that I can put these toothpicks in here. Really, you're seeing the toothpicks go into the hole like close up? It looks like you're zoomed all the way out there, Holmes. Um, I put those in there to keep the eggs from rolling around. If you've watched one of our egg pulling videos before, <laughs> I'm excited. First clutch of the season, dude. And these are going to be amazing. And I'll candle these maybe right here on the video. But I'll link a video right here for our full process that we usually do. And you get to see some eggs being candled in fine detail. I don't want to go over those those details And every time we pull a clutch of eggs. Unless, unless you guys want to. Com comment down below if you think I should go over these exact details every time we pull a clutch of eggs. Or if uh, you're okay with going back and watching the video you haven't seen it yet. Leave, leave a comment down below. Let me know. But, but see, the, the thing is, you have to turn off all the lights so you can really see it. Because I can't see it in these lights. I think Nolan might need me. I hear him running. Alright, well you go attend to your other mommy duties. I'll finish this by myself. You sure? Yep. Okay. I actually just remembered that I have a remote for this light. See if it works. Oh, it does! Alright, let's see if we can see some freaking eggs then, man. Alright, so I can definitely see veins and... Kind of where the veins converge is where the embryo usually is, and you can kind of see it floating around. These eggs were fleshy laid, so the nice thing is you could probably put them in any direction and the embryo would adhere to the top. But just to be safe, I'm candling just to see where they're actually at, which is actually... That'll be the top of that egg, so I'll place it in the old incub bader box. Next egg. These are all clearly fertile. Okay, there's a little... Maybe you can see it. There's a little embryo floating at the top there. You see that little thing jiggling? I'm gonna put an arrow right there so you can see the little jiggle of the little dark thing. That's a little embryo. When you give it a little gentle movement, you can see it, it jostles it, it jostles it a little bit, which I mean I don't really want to do. Look at my... Is my fingernail that dirty or is it just because of the light? Oh my gosh. You can tell that we got to these eggs right after she was done laying because they're not stuck together at all. They're all separate floating around. You can see the veins on top of that one right there. Okay, this one is real easy to see. You see that jostling around there? Right there? That's the embryo. You want that on top. Made it even darker in here so it's even easier to see. Little tiny black dot. You can see it right there giving a little tiny jiggle. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. And the final egg. Boom, right there. Embryo. You can see it. Again. Do, do. Do a little dance. Shake a little egg. Let's shake the egg. Let's shake the egg. Not too, not too hard. Just gently. Look at this. I feel like we're in some kind of uh, interrogation zone. Like... It was at that moment I realized that I was going to have to turn him into the authorities. <laughs> There we go. Candling eggs on camera and trying to explain is such a weird process sometimes, especially since it's dark and you can't, you know, it's just... There's no real good way to do it on, on camera, I don't think. That's it, we got them all in there. You see they got their, uh, you get a little close up here. There you go, you can see I got all the little toothpicks to set them apart and then I like to, uh, I like to use, I like to keep the eggs close together so that they kind of help each other stay at the same temperature as much as possible even though they're all separated um, and then not touching the sides of course of the tub so they're not getting any extra moisture that may drip down the sides that they don't need and then I just stick some of this present seal on top put the lid on pop in the incubator and try to forget them about it for a couple months and just let them be and let them do their thing and that's uh that's about it guys I got some interesting something interesting I want to show you guys this I got a message last night from somebody claiming to be the person who actually uh, was the one that lost the hand in in the show Tiger King and this is the account and was just asking where I was at in California and how far I was from where 
where they're at and i would be stupid so because i thought that that person kelsey kelsey was the most solid person on the show like just with the vibe that the vibe like seems solid to me you know what i mean so out of all the characters on the show so i just thought it was interesting i think it'd be cool like if there was actually some chance for that he lives close and we can like meet up and do a video or something would be sweet just because uh again i thought that he had a super solid vibe on the video on the on the show so <clears throat> just interesting I, if if you guys can confirm or down in the comments below if you guys <clears throat> excuse me have any inside information as to whether or not this, this is legit um i'd love it i appreciate it and uh Ah, super excited. Okay, I, I was all my mind. I'm still, I literally got like no sleep last night, so I'm super loopy right now. Um, but the pairing was Cindy, who was, who is an Enchi Firefly clown. And this was her second year lane. Six beautiful eggs, no slugs. I'm super stoked. Male was Oedipus, who's a coral glow pied, 100% het clown. So we're hoping for Enchi, Coral Glow, Firefly, Clowns that are 100% Het for Pie. That's the best possible case from that pairing. Worst possible case is Double Het Clowns, Pies. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm stoked on that, dude. I've got a couple mail items to open, then we're going to get out of here. First one here is from Stuttering Exotics. Brian, thank you so much for all your support. Really do appreciate it and look forward to seeing what you produce in the future. You're seeing right now what we're producing first clutch of the season. Mmm, yeah, once this quarantine's over, dude, I'm so looking forward to meeting up with folks. Here's their here's their stickers right here. Take a good candor. Take a good looky look. Stuttering exotics. Do I have that the right side up? Sure don't. There we go. Boom. I'll be throwing you guys on the sticker cart. Thanks for all the great content inspiration. Anthony, you're welcome. Oak Reptilia. Ooh, I like that sticker. Look at this. Bam 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 bam. Bam 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 bam. Oak Reptilia. Thank you, Anthony. Appreciate it, man. Um, all right, guys. I'm out of here. Thank you for joining us today for the super exciting day. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go take a nap. You guys have yourselves a great day. Aloha. Thank you. I had plenty of TV, but I gave it all away. Because we got this nice good day. One booty spray and I'm on my way. Stroll into the kitchen and stay.